More than one in 10 package deliveries disappear for absolutely no apparent reason. And 61% of Americans are dreading the holidays due to financial strain. Jane King's live at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Hey, good morning, Jane. It's uh, maybe the most wonderful time of year, but it's also <laughs> most expensive. <laughs> Man, it gets expensive, and that puts a damper on the season for most Americans. Now, in Lending Tree's 2019 holiday spending survey, it found 61% of Americans dread the holidays because of the financial burden. Uh, there's loss of sleep, anxiety, added debt, of course. Now, one in three lose sleep worrying about how to pay for all of this stuff, including about half of millennials and parents of kids under 18. And we talk about packages disappearing, and a lot of times it's about mm -hmm. porch pirates, but that's yep. not why we're talking about packages disappearing right now. Well, I think that is part of the reason, but nobody really knows exactly. Now, this is especially a problem in major cities. It is still a headache for Amazon and the delivery companies. According to a New York Times report, an estimated 15% of all online shopping deliveries to urban areas fail to reach their final destination due to theft or logistical issues. So yesterday was Giving Tuesday, it was all about charity, and they mm -hmm. recently did some checking, and Americans apparently aren't as generous as they once were. That's right. So this study was done by Indiana University's Lilly Family School of Philanthropy and also the Vanguard Charitable Philanthropic Impact Fund. They examined the effect of the 2008 Great Recession on charitable giving and found that 20 million fewer households are donating compared to two decades ago. Some blame changes in the tax code that raised the limit for itemized deductions. There's also people have a lot of debt. Wages haven't gone up. So all those things contributing to that. All right. Personal question. Juicy mm. fruit, double mint, orbit. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I can't even remember the last time I have chewed a piece. Actually, when I flew, I fl I chew gum when I fly. But for your ears, not for the taste, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so gum makers are mixing everything from vitamins to candy. There's probably CBD gum. I'm just guessing uh, to give customers kind of more excitement about gum and pick up a pack. Uh, the Wall Street Journal says chewing gum has lost sales to mints, and customers have gravitated to other ways of burning nervous energy, like fidget spinners and smartphones. Now, gum sales dropped globally 4%, but in the U.S., they're down 23% over the past 10 years or so. And then the best for blowing bubbles, though, it's probably not good for your teeth. Double bubble. That's right, yes. Thanks, It Jane. is good, though. Have a yeah. great day. <laughs>